yeah hello guys in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a web api in dotnet core in a, in the previous video we covered about how to create a web api application in dotnet framework so in this application we are going to discuss about dotnet core application almost steps are same only you know right uh, in entity framework so here it supports for only code first approach so only that matters and additionally instead of going uh, with a third party software like postman so microsoft has made a tie up with another third party company and they had used a tool called swagger swagger is a tool which helps for testing the web api application instead of going with postman or any other applications okay so these two talk, these two uh, uh, points go are going to covered in this particular video now let me create a simple uh, asp.net web api .net core application so here while creating also so you select web api application which is of .net core with c sharp so asp.net core web api application so it is a core application okay click on next so in case if you want to give the name and the path you can uh, alert them so here you can select the 5.0 version recommended guys so you can uncheck this configure for https authentication is no authentication so click on create so then you are able to create a asp.net core web api application so here so we are going to first create a database connection in order to interact uh, with the database using entity framework code first approach so before writing all of them let's install nuget packages which are required for us so here uh, let's search for entity framework core here so first install microsoft dot entity framework core uh, nuget package so i'm going to install that accept the license so once it is installed so go for this entity framework core dot relational this is an optional thing if you have this so you won't get uh, further errors while building the uh, what we can call while uh, generating the migrations and all those next you need to install this microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server so accept it so that's also installed now go with the uh, microsoft dot entity framework core dot tools these are already these are already covered at the time of entity framework i hope you remember so that's it you require those four packages so here generate the connection string so connection string so here get the server name this is my server name i'm just copying that so here give the connection name i am taking it as db db connection so here let's go with this data source equal to this particular sir so next initial catalog is equal to the db which i want to create web api db or web api test db so now the authentication integrated security equal to true so that's it we are ready with the connection string so now you have to create the classes and the context file for further so let's go with the same example however we did in dotnet framework so here we are going with product class so let me take some properties id uh, string title uh, double uh, salary sorry not salary price so that's it the model class is ready now let me create the context class so add a class products context so you know the context class always need to inherit the predefined entity framework class called db context so it will ask you to import using microsoft dot entity framework core so let me create a constructor so here db context options we need to pass because we need to pass the connection string from startup.cs file so the same thing need to be passed to the base class also and that's it so after that let us mention the tables which you want to convert as 
mention the classes which you want to convert as tables in the database product. So I'm treating the class name as products. So now we are ready with the model class and the context class. So you need to access the connection string from the startup file. So there is configure services. In this you can add the service here. So services dot add db context. So db context name is products context. So inside this one let me take some iterative object. So where it is going to use SQL server. So for this you have to import a namespace using Microsoft dot entity framework core. So you can get the configuration by the using this configuration attribute dot get connection string. So here you can pass the connection string object uh, name. So that is db connection I am using. So let's go with tools new get package manager console. Let us generate the database. So first build the application before doing all these things. So rebuild the application. So now enable hyphen migrations. So migrations are enabled. Add hyphen migration. So I am logging the migration with a name initial since it, this is the first one. So after that one update hyphen uh, database. Yes update also successful. Now let us check whether we got our database here or not. So we got this web API test DB. So here we have the table products. Now let us enter into creation of web API controller. Now as of now we created DB context along with the model. So here by default there is a controller guys. So just execute and check how it is there. So you can see as I said there is a tool called Swagger which is powered by smart beer company. So this is not belongs to our Microsoft. This is completely third party instead of going with an application like Postman and all those. So they had given an option where you can test all your API methods inside this particular Swagger tool. So when you execute you can see this Swagger UI. So if you click this you can see this try out try it out option for every method not only for this. So only you have one method because it's a sample controller how to utilize all these things. So they had given to get a weather uh, data. So when you click on this try it out you can see uh, one let me click yeah you can see an exit execute button if you click this so this is the request processed this is the url processed and this is the result you are able to see so instead of going with any other tool like uh, postman you can uh, utilize this swagger ui and you can check api methods which you had created by yourself and one more thing you can also download by using this option so you will get json result will get downloaded okay so this is how the difference remaining everything it is same and that means this entity framework also uh, these steps also be different. Let me create our own controller now. Right click on the controllers go to add and select a controllers option. So here again you need to select API don't select uh, this MVC controllers and later uh, don't uh, go uh, mess with the errors and all those. So go with web API controller. So again you will select the same option API controller with actions using entity framework. So click on add. So here you need to select the model. Model name is products right uh, product. So click on that. So select the context name model uh, products context. So suggested controller name is products controller. Let keep the same. So click on add. So system is going to scaffold and generate the code which uh, which is having the same uh, five methods. So getting all the products, getting a single product, so post a product, update a product and delete a product. These all five uh, API methods will get generated by using along with entity framework uh, operations. So that's it you can see this API controller was created. So you have the URLs and all those. 
so now directly you can execute so now the swagger will have this along with the weather uh, weather forecast controller so you can also have this products controller also so these are the methods available let us test all the methods okay so click on post because get will give you empty as of now no records are there so it is getting executed so you can see no data is there but it is success code only so first let us insert some records by using the post method so even for insert it is very simple you can see click on try it out so you can pass the data here so id you can ignore so title suppose samsung s20 so price is some 45600 and if you click on execute so that is getting saved in the database even if you have any doubt you can check it here also so select the top 1000 records you can see the record was inserted so like the same let's insert one more record so iphone mini and 8000 so again execute so again record is going to insert here sorry you can see this now you can check the remaining products now you can go with get method so now you have two records that is going to be fetched so click on execute so you can see you will get data like this again so if you can if you want to get a single record if you click on try it out you can have a text box so let us give the id 1 so then id 1 id 1 product will get displayed here okay so now put method in case if you want to uh, update any any record so one suppose let me not fan pro max 18500 suppose if you click on execute it is going to be successful now you can see bad request sorry here you need to pass the id also one now yeah i hope it is successful now you can execute you can see this the title was modified and price was modified so that is how put method is going to be helpful so delete you can simply pass the id so id 2 i just want to delete click on execute so it is going to get deleted so you can see you will get how only one record okay so like that swagger will be helpful instead of going with the third party tools so you can check it here so this is how you can create uh, web api in dotnet core applications so in the next video so we are going to uh, create a code how to work with this data i mean uh, what we can call consume this web services as of now you created web service right so in the next video along with this creation you can also create a code from console or any other application how to interact with this and how to uh, call all these methods that is next video so i hope it is clear thanks for watching